My name is Pete Brown, I write to specialising in food and drink. Now we're here at the Imbibe live show where I've been the beer and cider drinks ambassador. Fantastic. How was is, how is your talk that you did earlier? It was good. Um, it's the first one of these I've been to post-pandemic and I kind of wanted something that reflected the changes where we've got to where we've been. Uh, and so I decided to call it Are We Post Craft Yet? Uh, as an umbrella for showing some great products where it's like it, it doesn't matter what your opinion on craft beer is or whatever whether you think it's a thing or not they're just really really great beers and so I just wanted to kind of you show them to an audience of people who might be interested in stocking something that they never quite know where to start so we had a great chat and drank some great beers yeah. and a wonderful perry I appreciate you had a Sussex beer in there in uh, Beak their yes. Imperial Stout lovely beer yeah, yeah I, mean, I love the guys at Beak they're, they're fantastic so an Imperial Stout at uh, quarter past 12 uh, in the afternoon was the way to, to start the day really why not so right to warm us up a quick well maybe not quick but rapid fire questions for you um, homegrown beer or import beer homegrown beer or import beer that's a weird one um, wherever you go it doesn't matter what country you're in imported beer is considered more premium than homegrown beer which is really bizarre so you know Budweiser is premium to uh, Heineken in the Netherlands and Heineken is to Budweiser in the States. Yeah. Uh, so for me, homegrown. Uh, I mean, if I had to choose between the two, I'd be very upset. But uh, but I think British brewers now are doing uh, styles from all across the world uh, and doing them really well. So we get great British lagers, great British Belgian style beers, um, and there's lower food miles and you're supporting the local industry. So yeah. No. Cool. Um, good pub, crap beer. Crap pub, good beer. That's an easy one. Good pub, crap beer. <laughs> I can get, I've got a house full of good beer. Um, and when I want to go to a pub, I want to go be in a good pub for the environment, for the atmosphere, for the vibes. Uh, and I can happily, happily uh, drink a glass of wine or a gin and tonic. Fair enough. And because your talk is on craft beer, craft beer or cask beer? I think cask beer well, is... Well, actually, cask beer could be craft beer, couldn't it? I think cask beer <laughs> is craft beer. Yeah. I think if you'll get any attempt to define what craft beer is, cask gets big ticks on every single aspect of it uh, and I think it's ludicrous quite frankly that we believe that uh, they're somehow different and it actually what it does is it shows up that craft beer is all about image uh, the only reason craft beer so the only reason cask beer isn't craft beer is because it doesn't come in funky cans and it didn't come from America yeah okay if I if I rephrase it then cake beer or cask beer oh cake beer or cask beer um, that's a mean choice to have to make uh, in, in a great pub, in a perfect setting, if they know what they're doing, I'd say cask beer. Uh, it doesn't mean I don't like keg beer. Uh, I used to get very frustrated with the debates over uh, cask is the only good beer going and keg is always rubbish. It's never been true. Yeah. Um, and there's fantastic beers that suit keg and fantastic beers that suit cask. But cask is just that bit more special. 